on a lovely sunny day, even in mottled shade, it's always nice to go out and do a bit of foraging. And we're going to do some here today because it's that time of year from sort of mid-May right through, maybe if you're lucky, to the end of June, it's elderflower time. Probably the forager's most popular produce because you can do lots of nice things with it. And here is an elderflower plant, a tree, a shrub. It's usually one or the other, a small tree or shrub. A pair of secateurs are useful for this. And as I've just dropped on the ground down there, maybe a reusable bag to put all your flower heads in. Now, outer flower is quite distinctive. It's got this lovely fragrance. There's going to be no use to you whatsoever. But it is a lovely, sweet, summery smell. If you've ever had an outer flower cordial or something, you probably know what it's going to smell like. It's quite distinctive. The flowers are white, as you can see. They go a bit more yellowy as they get a bit older. Um, and they're quite a flat head to it as well. Plus, you're looking for a plant that has usually these little sort of leaflets of sort of five leaves together with always one at the end and they've always got these little jaggedy bits on the leaves as well. And one of the other interesting things about this plant is it's actually quite brittle and the older it gets the more brittle it is so if you maybe broke that off you can see it just comes off quite easily that's why you don't necessarily need secateurs. But if you do it with your hands and you want wearing a pair of gloves make sure you wash them later because the flower is slightly toxic not so much the flower but the actual plant and in the autumn of course you get elderberries from it so don't pick all the flowers otherwise you won't be popular with the birds and you won't be able to forage those elderberries for yourself but with elderberries you actually have to cook them um, to get rid of the poison it actually goes away then and then they're really nice in jams and puddings and all sorts of things so this is elderflower you can make all sorts of things with it cordials are popular and also you can make on top of that things like uh, fritters you can deep fry them which is always a interesting thing to do with them and probably one of the most popular is to make your own alcoholic drink which is the out of flower champagne now you're probably going to need somewhere in a region of sort of eight to ten of these heads you can see them on the plant all around they're quite large and uh, if you only can get the little tiny ones then you probably need to double that number and then you can make quite a nice lot of uh, out of flower champagne technically not champagne if you had to sell it somewhere it would probably be called out of flower fizzy alcoholic drink or something like that but colloquially known as out of flower champagne and just go ahead and collect them oh. as it gets later in the season by the way you might find it useful to have some really long loppers because the best ones are always at the top or of course be six foot two like me which does help but still some of them are out of reach and it's always the very best ones that are do you think i can get to that one up right up there probably not we'll have to go over here <laughs> 